and get this while it's fresh. So uh, <sighs> there's certain things I was told to do in my life that there was one fucking thing I didn't want to let go of. That was my daughter's. And I had to let go of them for the time being because the person that they're attached to is uh, like an energy vampire. <laughs> And I can't be around that right now. Even though they're they're better off with me. Always been better off with me. And they would want to be with me, I guarantee it. I had to do what I was told, right? Um, trusting that, sitting here crying my fucking eyes out, dude. Um, <sighs> trusting that if I did what was right, all things would be made right. You know, I can't sit here and say that I have faith in the, in, the, in the divine and then do my own thing, right? I have a very strong spiritual connection I always have. I know it right from wrong. One, 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 one. I know right from wrong since whether or not I decide to step into it. And uh, I've chosen a path where I, I always step into it. Even when it fucking hurts going through like a spiritual cleanse right now. Hang on a second. Fucking thing just went. Hold up. Alright, should be a little bit better anyways. Let's see. Hopefully y'all heard that first part. There's no, there's no redoing that. So, um, it should be better. This fucking wind kicks in this place. But, I wanted to get this while I could because it's a one-time deal here. One, one take, not a mistake, but a one take. Um, you know, this fucking society says, "Oh, don't cry." Don't. Well, you know what? God gave me tear ducts, by the way. I made this way. I funny thing, I feel better afterwards too. It's it's the craziest fucking thing, right? More fucking lies. It's all goddamn lies in this place. Right now, anyways. And I, I even have, you know, I've got my own ego shit about crying and all that stuff. And like, fuck that, man. It's the way I was made. Whatever blow me it's all it's all same shit man doesn't want us to be true to ourselves and that one of my jobs here is to put myself out here so that others can see that it's it's okay to go this way i i know that now even if it you know i learned uh, i put this up in one video actually got sidetracked on it but uh i uh i learned years ago that if i was able to put myself out there this is for like aa meetings but if I could sacrifice myself essentially in the beginning, I'd not only get my shit out, but I'd also make it easier for other people to come out. And it'd always make for like a really good meeting. Because people would be like, well, if he can do it, I can do it, right? That's my, that's my job here. You know, I, I was sitting here walking and just fucking bawling. I miss the shit out of there. Oh. I tried to hold on to it so bad, and it's like, you've got one more thing to let go of. I'm like, come on, man, don't do that. <laughs> don't make me do that, please. And I couldn't, um, I couldn't ignore it anymore. I had to let it go and trust that. You know, I'd hear things like, you know, it'll be, that which has been uh, taken from you will, will be returned sevenfold, and, you know, and like, I know that when things are balanced out, it'll be made right. I don't know what that means, you know. I don't yet. I, I have a feeling I do, and I'm so tuned in. I, I like to think I, I do all the time, but you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be off on this one, right? I don't want to deal with that emotionally. I've had a few thoughts where, like, you know, like mixed family and stuff like that. Moving forward, I'll be having more, more young. Um, met my divine and stuff like that. I know what's coming in that sense which is wonderful but like I still <sighs> the uh, the most profound spiritual experience I ever had was my daughter was coming into the world four for four on the clock I don't plan this stuff by the way, it's just the way it plays out. It reminds me that I had the right one. 
certain uh, numbers I see at certain times that lets me know certain things that I'm on the right path. I see repeating numbers. There's a phone number over here for like a law agency, law, quote unquote, lawyers, liars, but it says a 444 I'm like, yep, there we go. I followed uh, Route 44 all the way here, and then I followed fours the whole way here, and it got me here. Oh, God isn't real. Oh, yeah. Well, he just led me somewhere. I didn't even know where I was going. And he's led me to meet my divine counterpart that I that I put out the intent for, that I said I wanted to find. And just magically, this is where I ended up at. Fucking no idea where I was headed. I just left. Told me to leave. But, like, yeah, the, the, uh, the most profound spiritual experience was when my daughters came into the world. my fucking eyes out in a good way right tears of joy um, and like I said I just have to trust that he'll you know he's always got my best interest in heart in mind and I uh, I know that whatever's supposed to be mine will be returned to me and then some I got some other stuff coming on the pipe that because I put out the I put out the intent I did the right stuff I planted those seeds, some of them up to like seven years ago for some of them. Y'all are going to see some crazy shit coming through here in a little while. Um, but uh, we can do anything we set our minds to as long as we're willing to sacrifice. Um, no pain, no gain is an N-O-P-A-I-N, N-O-P-A-I-N, and a no pain, N-O-K-N-O-W pain, no gain, K-N-O-W gain. And when we live in this little box and try to control everything to where it's got to be perfect and we don't ever want to feel pain or you know feel any kind of bad feelings or anything like that it doesn't work that way guys it doesn't it keeps us in this fucking cycle going around and around um and we're not able to be our true divine selves that along with some other things but that's one of the big ones you know we, we try so hard to control our lives and you know that mixed with the fact that you know, we're breaking all Ten Commandments when we're using the certain things in our life. I'm not going to go into that right now, but if you check out some other videos, you won't have a hard time figuring out what that is. Um, we got to just let it be. It's got to have a balance. Everything is on scales here, you know. Uh, the, the divine scales. The justice system, quote-unquote, is it's unjust. It's just us. Justice? No, it's just us. So it's us is them, right? It's all lies and bullshit. Again, if you want to read some of my other stuff, look into it. But um, that's why I start a lot. Of, it's funny. Funny enough, I started a lot of this because of because of my daughters. I, I found out that there was a something that was tied to them at birth that I wanted to undo, and uh, so it led me down this path until I learned how to love myself. I freed them, and I uh, freed my entire ancestral line, and you know, and uh, myself as well along the way. So. Um, I was able to achieve my goal in that sense, and uh, come a long way. I've come a really long way. It's been a fucking wild ride. Still is. Just getting started. Um, I'm in the season to to reap now. Um, all my blessings are coming in. Butterflies. Nice. I see butterflies all the time. It's like certain things I see that let me know I'm on the right path. And also, because uh, I have a lot of doubt sometimes. And you're the only one that's headed a certain way. It's it's. So uh, the more confirmations I can get, the better, because it's, you know, I come under heavy spiritual attack and stuff like that to where doubt, doubt plays a significant role in things. And I, you know, I'm still human. I, I still experience a lot of these things that we all do here. You know, even if I'm able to recognize a lot of them quickly and, and get rid of them. You know, I've been avoiding feeling this for months. I learned how to stuff things down inside of me so I didn't feel them and they just it's really it's a terrible thing to do because it just turns into shit right I could they have to let them out it just turns into like pure garbage and, and then it, whatever's inside comes outside so it, it manifests into shit outside of me and um, it's hard sometimes it's really hard you know, I don't know where I'm headed at a certain times. A lot of times right now, I don't know. I just know that he's going to take care of me. But 
I don't know what that means. Some crazy shit comes up sometimes. You know, you got to go like bum, bum gas off somebody you don't know or uh, do that thing that I never thought I would do, which is stand outside and ask for, for money from other people. I hate asking for help. What does he do? He puts me in situations where I have to ask for help and uh, takes my ego and squashes it, which is great because I don't, that thing just gets in the way. It's like, like the lower, the lower mind, ego, ego, no go. E can be no, it can mean consciousness, but one of the things it can mean is without. And uh, in this case, it would be without go, not going anywhere when you caught an ego. This whole place will try to trap us in, in our fucking egos so that it can control us, so that we'll control ourselves. And um, yeah, what I'm doing is, uh, in addition to what I'm doing in my own life, it's to help show others that this is not, it's not the way to go. And uh, we don't always have to know the next thing. Like, our Father in Heaven looks out for us. And He's real. He made you. He made, he made me. He made you. Um, not, a, not an opinion. It's a fact. Um, you're, this is a spiritual simulation. Not like a computer, but we're in, like, the mind of God right now. This whole place is fluid. It just changes. Um, they call it the Mandela Effect. The Mandala Effect. It's, uh, things change over time. They're not the same. Here's a quick, uh, quick example. So... I had a King James Bible that had, uh, it had, uh, so it used to say, judge not lest ye be judged. I know it without a fact. That's what it used to say. Can't convince me otherwise. It, it's what it always said, right? Went and looked at it one day and it says some roundabout circle jerk thing where it says like, judge, judge not that be, that, that ye be not judged. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Like, it's, it's like a, like a double negative like, it didn't used to say that. And, and nobody's touched that book, so it changed. Like, and there's, there's a million things like that here that have changed. I know a lot, a lot of people don't see it. There's, I have probably 500 things I could pick out that have changed that are supposed to be physical, right? Physical is not solid. It's physical, but it's not solid. It's like what the group consensus is. The group consensus, excuse me. So the group consensus shapes reality. So these things change over time. You know, there's a lot of people have examples of all this stuff where... You know, it's just like they, they've got the old versions and the, compared to the new ones, like, no, that wasn't like, like Fruit of the Loom, the, uh, the cornucopia, right? There's, there's always this specific picture and that's changed. There's so many things like this. Oh my God. And uh, if you can see it, you see it. If you, if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, take my word for it, whatever, or don't. Um, but uh, yeah, back to the scales real quick. So everything has to be balanced, universal, divine law, uh, juice divinum. Everything has to be balanced here. So... When we're all on one side, it throws everything out of whack. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's been just us for quite a long time, at least since the late 1800s. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a reason that Lady Liberty, or what the hell, the, the scales of justice where she's got the blind... She's wearing a blindfold, number one. Number two, the scales aren't balanced. They're not even. One's higher than the other. It's like... No, that's not the way it works, y'all. It's not, it's not supposed to be that way. Again, they, they stick it right in our face. Uh, Statue of Liberty has chains on her feet. It's not, a, it's not a she, it's a man. It's Apollo. It's Apollo, Pallium. Statue of Satan, basically. Loki, the trickster, right? Um, remember uh, in the Avengers, Loki tried to take over the world? Yeah, well, Loki's the guy behind all this shit right now. Mercury, the trickster. Um, remember the Hulk beats the shit out of him, too, so... That's what we're doing right now, but yeah, I just, um, again, uh, whatever is presented by this society in its current sick state, uh, pretty much we can take the opposite, and that's that's our truth. And I've done it with, uh, I call it the 180 rule. Pretty much uh, when society is headed one way, I can pretty much run the other direction and make quick work of it, like get them moving. And I know just based on that law, I'll be headed the right way, pretty much. Almost everything is like that now. Uh, almost all of it, because the, the it's, it's all been satanically inverted. Call it whatever you want. I call it Satan, darkness, whatever. And there's nothing wrong. Like there's always light and dark, and everything in the middle, right? But it is to live on the dark side does not work that way. Like I'm a balance of light and dark, and that's what allows me to do the things that I do in my life. I choose the light, but I have both, and I address the dark. I don't hide it. Like you see me crying my eyes out back here uh, that's just me like that's what shadow work is it's, it's addressing the, the shit that we don't want to look at that's what all of it is
people make this big thing out of it. Like, no, just you got to look at the darkness. Um, AA calls it, you know, four step work, fifth step work, all that. We dig into our fears, fears, sexual conduct, uh, anger, resentments, all that stuff. It's got to be cleaned out because otherwise it just it makes us sick. Like our secrets keep us sick, while a bunch of shit inside of us also keeps us sick. I have to be able to uh, break free of it, to take the power away from it, right? It, Anytime we give our power away, we're just giving our divinity to something else or some other being. Like, we have to keep that for ourselves. It's how we get anything done in this place. Come here to learn, guys. It's here to learn about ourselves and to become greater beings, you know. There's, there's ascended masters and stuff that are not part of this place anymore. They've left. They've gone to another dimension. They went up. You know, some come back here to do certain things to... They uh, reveal things to humanity every, every once in a while, you know. You might call him Jesus or Buddha or whatever, but it's just, it's an ascended master that comes down to, um, to share things with humanity when they get off track, right? And we're, we're way off track right now. So there's been some, some ascended masters that have come here to uh, reveal things to the collective so that we can help them to, uh, we can help to get out of this shit. Um, do what you got to do, right? If you want something done right, do it yourself. Um, but uh, yeah I just want to share these things I, it's on my heart to share them and again I have to grab them all today I don't really think fondly of making a video of me crying and putting it out on the internet but you know at the same time there's another video about something that happened to me in my childhood and that went out too so you know it's uh, I know I know how to take my power back now so and a lot of it's just exposing shit that I have been programmed I've been programmed like everyone else to think that it's to think that certain things are truth and they're total nonsense garbage um, and they keep us sick so it's time for us to break out of that it's time to rise guys um, consciousness is rising we're coming out of the uh, out of the Kali Yuga or the Lu cipher would be the the book of shit <laughs> it would be the uh, so uh, a cipher would be either a code or a sefer which is like a, a book of life but then it's, it's the it's a Lu cipher well Lu is, is a toilet so it's the it's the, uh, it's the it's the book of, of shit, collection of shit, basically. Yeah, there you go. Um, and it's time for us to break out of that and to rise. Those of us who are going to rise, it's time to do so and uh, to come together. Um, yeah, you guys know how to reach me. If not, uh, Divine Sovereign One 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 at Proton at me. You know, step out, guys. Have some balls. Um, and uh, I'm here to help in any way I can. You know, it's some of the stuff that I've done. And whatnot that has that's, that's freed me or freed me from their their legal system, which is which is fact now. Um, I'm a guest here now again. Um, I've I've reacquired my guest status through certain actions, and uh, you know you can push back against certain things. I'm not going to say what they are in here, but if you follow me at all, you'll know what they are. And uh, you know certain things that are being pushed against us, um, they're they're coming against our our divinity. And it's time to push back. And when I did it, I didn't have anybody else to help me. I, I didn't have anyone. I, I had certain people that I followed that I learned things from, but I had to do it alone. You don't have to do it alone, guys. Reach out. Reach out to me. I'll help you. You know, if you want to protect your kids and all that stuff, that's, that's great. That's why I'm here. Reach out to me. I'll help you. Again, that's that's why I'm here. You know, I'm here to serve my own stuff, but I'm also here to to help others to do things that I'm just crazy enough to have already done. And so... I'm here to help, and I'll help in any way I can. Y'all are all my brothers and sisters. I love all of you. And uh, I will talk to you guys, too, when I get a chance. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Love y'all. Peace.